This is called real Android 16 many users were waiting for. This is Android 16's QPR1 Beta 2. QPR1 Beta 1 is already released a month ago and I made a video on those few amazing changes, new quick settings panel, new UI everywhere and so on. And this is a Beta 2 for that. Stable version released yesterday. If you made, a, if you saw that video, it's good and you already got to know which changes you are getting with Android 16 stable. But this is called a real Android 16. This is the first change which you will find the slide, the brightness slider, that icon in the brightness slider is now moved from left to right. A very minimal change, but just wanted to let you know. Second one, you will notice that in volume slider, that volume icon, if you're able to notice, that is previously that was at bottom and now it is at top. These are some minor changes I am just showing you because this is a part of this new update. That is the only reason. And also we have some minor tweaks with this expanded volume panel also looking absolutely amazing as compared to the existing one if we move on to security and privacy options now we have this advanced protection option available that might be the part of android 16 stable version 2 but if you're using android 16's qpr1 beta 1 and if you want to update to beta 2 you will see this advanced protection option too as far as I know, this is a bit similar to Samsung's One UI safe kind of thing. As far as I know, the feature was there. I just used S25 Ultra for one month and I got to know about this feature, something related to that. If you move on to lock screen notifications, you will see we have this text named as show viewed notification icons and also a minor tweak available in this case. This is not a major change, a minor one, but just wanted to let you know. You will see some enhancement with this mods app to or you can say mods option which is now upgraded version of do not disturb so as you can see we have this mods available this option available and the icons on the left side are now a bit changed if you are using android 16's previous version or using android 15 you will notice a difference and finally we have another major change this is called a major change in sound and vibration settings finally these sliders are now changed and now adapted to android 16. Previous update, it was not there and also many things are sorted. We have sound patterns, audio, system sounds and vibrations. So everything is now in a certain form and this is looking so good as compared to the previous one. This is personally speaking, this is so good. Another change you will find in previous, in previous update, you will notice the Wi-Fi icon on the left and the signal icons on the right. But in this case, with this new update, the Wi-Fi icon is now at right and the signal icons are left as similar to iOS. If you have ever used iOS, it is almost looking similar to that now. Also, whenever you update from Android 16 QPR 1 Beta 1 to Beta 2, you will see this new slider and this is also a part of expressive UI as far as I know. We have minor tweaks available here and there and if you move on to wallpapers and style, you will notice we have this option named as Wallpaper Studio. It was already there previously, I mean when the previous Beta 1, it was there like you can enable these effects and change shape, weather, cinematic and so on. but let me show you if you move on to more wallpapers option for example this is the one you have this live effects wallpaper studio now we have ai wallpaper and everything is already included in this new update looking quite exciting actually including this thing you will notice that we have a new search bar available with this google the pixel launcher because pixel launcher is pre-installed in the pixel devices and now we have this ai search available here and it is not actually publicly available for all it is available to only specific users for now because it's the server side update so you might get very soon for now if you did not got it yet if you didn't get it yet you might get it soon also, if you move on to another minor change in the battery section, now this battery bar is also adapted to the latest M3 slider as far as I know. I don't know if actually I'm pronouncing it right. And also the battery health, which was expected. We are getting some changes with the battery health of the Pixel devices. For now, I did not got the update yet, but let's see whenever it will happen. I'll let you know. In storage section, you will also notice the storage bar is also now adapted to the latest M3 expressive bar. So these are some amazing outstanding changes available with Android 16. One thing which is a very basic thing, but many users don't talk about it. Whenever you try to fill a password, you have this very small text available like required password and as compared to Android 15, it is a big UI change in password filling things. 
everything else seems to be so exciting the quick settings panel is one of the main highlights of using android 16's latest update this is called expressive ui and by the way this is coming with the stable update with after two or three months you can say september august no one sure no one is sure about that but quite exciting this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one